Hi there, my name is Little Rock and this is my story. Did you know that my life didn't just begin with drilling and blasting at the quarry? Because I'm a limestone, my story is so much more than that. Today, I'm so excited to tell you all about it. We'll talk about my history, the big blast, and my time at the quarry. You'll enjoy hearing about my adventures at the asphalt plant, my success along the way, and the awesome project I was chosen for, and finally, being recycled back to where it all began. It's an awesome story, so grab your popcorn and get comfy, because it all started a very long time ago, like 400 million years. I was deposited as sediment into the beautiful ocean blue during a time known as the Silurian Age, when the Earth was going through some really big changes. You should have seen the oceans develop, it was amazing. Coral reefs began to appear and all kinds of different marine life showed up, adding to the sediment to make myself and my friends. Now life was going along for me quite nicely. Oceans came and went, climates changed, and my home had hardened into a solid mass. The rock mass had formed into what they call limestone, where my home and my rock friends live. My rock friends and I lived a pretty quiet and chill lifestyle until a few explorers showed up. Little did I know, plans for my future had been in the works for a very long time. You see, these explorers, I guess they're called geologists, are always on the lookout for cool rocks like me. They consult a bunch of maps to determine exactly where I am, and then they use some techie equipment to core, drill, and dig test holes in search for me so that they can learn more. There is so much planning that takes place that these geologists do before they even decide to open a new quarry. I was just excited that they found me and considered my home because I have big dreams of someday becoming an asphalt rock. After the geologists were finished with their quarrying, drilling, digging, and testing, they decided that my home was to become their next quarry and I was thrilled with that. You wouldn't believe all that takes place when a new quarry is being opened. It all starts with some drilling and then boom, I was blasted out of my comfy home into the bright sunlight. Now the fun began and I was on the move. It all begins with drilling and blasting. But I guess they don't just drill and blast the same way for every rock. It's a very specific process. The Walbeck workers use a lot of technical resources and tools to determine exactly where to drill the holes, how far apart they would be, and how wide they should drill each hole. When they found me, it was because I was currently living in the bench they needed aggregate to come from. I guess each type of aggregate comes from a different bench or level in the quarry. It's really fascinating. I'm just glad they chose me and when they were ready to blast me out of the bench, they were very cautious to sequence the blast to keep all of the neighbors happy and to protect their homes as well. This quarry is run by some really nice people. Being a good neighbor is really important to them. They know the exact frequency in which to conduct these blasts so that they don't create vibrations that can be amplified to damage homes. They are so smart. After the blast, I was transported by loader into a huge rock hauler and then I was dumped into the primary jaw crusher where they crushed me into a smaller size. I then took a ride on the conveyor belt to the secondary crusher where I was crushed again into a smaller size. Back onto the belt I went, but now we stopped at the screening plant where I was sorted as a 5 8 inch chip. After I was finished at the crusher, they sent me over to the lab to begin my assessments. But some of my rock friends? They had to stop at the wash plant first to take a quick bath. I guess it depends on what type of stone you are crushed into and what core you're from. I have friends who had to get washed twice. Okay, back to my assessments. These tests helped my Walbeck friends decide what the next step would be for me. They took place at the quarry and they involved physical, chemical, and environmental assessments to see how I responded. They were also interested in my shape, size, density, and absorption qualities. They wanted to know just how tough I was. Was it going to break down easily or would I absorb all of the oil or what they call AC into my pores? Or would it stay on the outside where they liked it? There was much they needed to learn about me. If I was going to make it as an asphalt rock, I needed to be strong. And I needed to work well with other rocks and this important AC stuff. I really wanted to score high on their tests. My friends and I, we have a blast dreaming about the future. My friend PCI really wants to become a concrete rock. And my other friend ZTI is also dreaming of becoming a concrete rock, but one that is specifically used to build bridges. We have big goals. Being a part of the Walbeck Quarry gave us a lot of options. It really depended upon how our tests turned out. We are all created for great things and have skills and talents in different areas. Each Walbeck company 
uses a variety of aggregates for the projects they complete and the customers they serve. It wasn't long before the results were in and I was notified that I was classified as a course aggregate. This classification, combined with the results from all of my tests, told my teachers that I would be an awesome asphalt rock. I can't even tell you how excited I am to go to Control 20. Okay, now we're ready to travel over to the asphalt plant. It's not a long trip, just across the road in a big dump truck. So let's go.